Spaceship Earth. I appreciate you joining me for today. This is a quick update. Actually, this isn't really an update because I haven't done anything since my last uh, video. I am busy today, so I'm just kind of getting something out real quick. There's one thing that I wanted to talk about, and uh, we're going to talk about that. So here you are joining me on this Spaceship Earth. We're traveling through space, we're hurtling along, and I'm working on some stop motion stuff. Now, I've kind of fallen into stop motion as a medium of expression. I think it's really cool. It fits really, really well into who I am and what I like to do for uh, creativity. It's very, very technical, and it's very, very, like, needy gritty which um like like lots of small details that you have to worry about and i really like that as strange as that is i really like the technical side of it but it's also a very very expressive art form you can do so many different things with it and it's uh, it just it's it's opened up a whole wealth of possibilities for me so stop motion is cool i'm really enjoying it uh here i'm gonna show you uh i have this little video that i created um yesterday Yeah, that's that's pretty fun. That little uh, few seconds took me um, a couple of hours of work to do, mostly because I was kind of learning the software and things like that. But uh, let's get into one of my issues. If you noticed in that in that video, there was a watermark. The watermark comes as a part of their intellectual property restrictions and protection. And I have no problem whatsoever with creators and with developers adding protections for their intellectual property because you know what, guys got to get paid. Uh, unfortunately, the money does not run on smiles and rainbows like I wish it did. So everybody needs to get paid and so software costs money. Other creative things cost money. That's totally cool and totally fine and uh, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the work that you do putting into this software and I will buy it eventually. But here's my beat. I've been using some software, it's called Dragon Friend. It's an absolutely really, really amazing piece of software. I'm really, really enjoying working on it. It's easy to use, it's powerful, it's very intuitive. I've only like dug into the surface of it and I feel like there's so much more just waiting to be discovered. Where does my problem lie? Well, I, uh, I'm i in a trial right now, which uh, is fine, like I said. But the trial, so not only is it a 30 day trial, it also adds that watermark, which is permanent and persistent watermark. And so even if I were to do a project now with the trial, that watermark would remain permanent and would stay in, in that project, even if I were to purchase the software on a later date. So that's really annoying. So, and, and secondly, there is a 50 frame limit on every take. And if you know anything about stop motion, 50 frames is anywhere from about five seconds to two seconds. So that's not exactly a lot of time when you're talking about film. Did I say five minutes? Five seconds. Did I say whatever I said? Five seconds is the maximum. If you're running at like 10 frames a second, you can run a little bit slower, but even then 10 frames a second is pretty jerky. Uh, or two, two seconds roughly at like 24 frames a second, which is like film. They don't even give you enough time to properly make a video with just the 50 frame restriction. So here I am with a piece of software. It's a professional, lovely piece of software that I want to buy, that I want to use in, uh, in my professional endeavors. But I have to buy it first. I can't use a fully functional trial to be able to test the software out. So Dragon Frame, please work on that. And not just Dragon Frame, this also goes towards any software developers uh, because I find these restrictive trial periods all over the place. And it makes me not even want to try the software. And if I don't try the software, I'm not going to buy the software. I'll go to a competitor. It's as easy as that. The more difficult you make your trial process, the less likely I am actually going to invest in your software. So just letting you know. Let's go to something a little bit positive. Um, so Dragon Frame, I love you. I think that's amazing. So what can we do about this? One, I need to buy Dragon Frame. It's a couple of hundred dollars. So it's not like unobtainably expensive. It is for me right now, but I mean, all I need is a little bit of funding. So head on over to my Patreon and Indiegogo pages. I already have a couple of backers right now, which is super, super exciting. I wanna give a huge thank you to the few people who have uh, shown their support to me already. My Indiegogo is at $100 and my Patreon is at $70 per month which is really, really cool. That's gonna be a huge help. Even if I don't get any other support, at least I've got a consistent income coming in that I can then buy some software and or hardware uh, down the road. So I think that's about it that I wanted to talk about. Uh, so I wanna say thank you very much for joining me today and I hope you guys have a wonderful journey. And uh, as a postscript, this music behind me, uh, because I always like to plug the music, 
This is uh, Kyle Andros and his album called Escape. This just came out this year. So I will link it down below. I hope you guys go check that out. Peace out. I don't want to let you listen to too much of this music because I have a quick update. I finished this video earlier today, but I'm going to add a little bit to it. I was hanging out with my buddies at Twisted Tree Pet Furniture. Uh, go check them out. They're down in the, in the, the there's a link down below as per usual. Um, and uh, yeah, we were having some fun. So check out what I was doing today in this like five seconds of clippage. Uh, yeah. So as always, have a good night.